Greetings, good evening, hello, hi, hello. My name is Carl One Zero, and I shall forever be Carl One Zero One. And this is this is somebody that hasn't been on the show in um, at least a decade, I, th I would think. Uh, coming back from her tour from uh, uh, Cuba, um, ladies and gentlemen, the the Angelic Zelda, uh, Katie, who is uh, not talking to us. She doesn't like us anymore. Uh, uh, she she really doesn't like us. She doesn't want to talk to us anymore. <laughs> Either she's got me muted or I can't hear her. Which it could be both. I don't I don't know. I don't know. Rip, I guess. And there was no Katie to hear. Um. Uh. Uh And she's dead everybody. All right. Oh, okay. So she wasn't ready is what I I I've been getting the uh the understanding of. Um So, guess we'll we'll, we'll do a little we'll listen to some some more music. Um while, while we wait for... I'm back! Uh, oh, look, there she is! I'm sorry, I told you, I'm making tea. <laughs> Gosh darn. Do you want to swap? Or are you okay? Um, I... I don't know how much better Discord, honestly, is going to be. Every time we do it with speed, it seems to kind of hoss as well, but we might as well give it an attempt. Yeah, but uh, make sure Steam and everything else is closed for you. It's all right, it hasn't loaded up today at once. Well, just tell it to. So, okay, well, we'll switch over to Discord then. Okay. Bottom. I gotta disable Skype sounds. Uh, where the heck is she? There she is. Hello. Hi. Hi. Well, I can do amazing things like adjust your volume and stuff. It's incredible. Who wants to do that? I I know, right? All right. So let's see if I turn this on now. Look, you Same can. Same for me. You, you sound fine. See your screen, or you can see my screen now. Yep, this looks fine to me. Let's see, performance is running at maximum. Cool. Ah, I really wish I wouldn't do that. High CPU detected. Huh. Thinking. You can just share the actual screen, like the, you know, the game screen. Well, what's eating all the CPU? Good reboot. I don't think that would do much of anything. I think it just spiked for a second. It's at 78%. Okay, that's not terrible. Alright, let's, let's, let's do this then. Okay, uh, is there no way to share audio on Discord? <sighs> I think there is, but I wasn't prepared for it. Wow, this is really lagging. I mean, XSplit is really lagging. Oh. I've never had this much problem with uh, Discord just eating everything. Yeah, same. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know if there's a way to do it on Discord. I'm sure there is. I'm sure plenty of people have ways of doing it. Yeah. Hey, chat. Do you guys know how to do it? I can live without it, but Phoenix Wright without its audios, you know, <laughs> it's not the magic. Do you know how to audio share on Discord? As I open up my tea bag. Not that we would have been able to do it on Skype. I mean, I think there was a way on Skype, but I don't remember. Share system sounds. Poggers. That would do. Uh, See. 
Oh, it's in their beta. They posted that January. Of this year? Yes. In a beta. In a beta testing. Well, no, he is sharing the screen. I'm watching on his stream or his screen. But, you know, if there's a way to do both, then that would be great. Cause... I'm no, I'm not. I'm not watching Carl's stuff on the actual stream itself. He's sharing directly to me because I don't want to deal with the lag. <laughs> We're prepared. <laughs> hey, it's been a while. I mean, uh, tell us about your your trip to Cuba. I didn't go to Cuba. Shut up. Hello? Yeah, it was your world tour trip uh, through Cuba. No, I went to New Jersey and New yeah. York, and we went to a Broadway play. You mean Cuba? And- yeah, we went to see a lot. Like there was a lot in Broadway, and the original voice actor for Jafar was in it, and it was really trippy and weird, but really cool. And then tried a bunch of food. I tried sushi for my first time. It was okay. I um, don't think I would ever touch that stuff. Try to think of what else we did a lot. We went to we went to uh, Times Square. We went to Central Park. We walked around. We played bunch of pokemon go i got three shinies on the trip i got so, it when you were at central park did you go to the dakota there was a bunch of things that we wanted to do but the thing is so big we went to i wanted to see the castle but it was closed uh we went to the john lennon thing uh i don't remember what else we did there was a bunch of stuff but I don't think we did that. Uh, we might just have to live without system chair for now. Evening, Evie. How do you do the audio and the screen? Because I've got the screen. Evie says there's a way. It's got to be a way. That will just start. It's not a big deal. Sharing the screen should usually share the audio. Thinking. Well, let me see on my options if I can enable that. I can right click you and watch your stream. Maybe it's got to be on through screen share. Yeah, that's what he was saying. Let's try that. Uh, okay, so. Well, yeah, that too. You weren't doing anything on the actual game. That's a weird screen to look at, but that works, right? It works for me, but you might want to, like, but, you know, like the, the menu screen has no audio. Right. Oh, I hear that. Okay, we're good. Uh, can you turn off your sense microphone thing? How do I do that? I have no idea. Um, go to user settings, and uh, the one where it says automatically determine input sensitivity. I think that needs to be off. What? I don't see that. Oh. Ah, I got it. Is that okay? Or louder? Um, can you can you just max it? <laughs> like you keep cu- like Discord. I, I don't. It tries, but it fails when it comes to the detect voice sensitivity thing, and it, need, it needs to just be off altogether. And she's dead, everybody. All right. I what I meant was the other way around. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, she's really dead now. What? Oh, there we go. Okay, I had it on originally, then I turned it off. Yeah, it needs to be off. It should stay off, I think. I think. I think. Is that good? I think so. Okay, I put it all the way to the right, and you couldn't hear me anymore. 
Yeah, I think I think we're good now. One sec. Yeah, we're we we are definitely good. All right, people. After some issues of whatnot, we're uh we're rolling. Rolling. Oh wow, that doesn't even need any internet too. Oh, yeah. thanks what? Discord. I was saying Discord is uh is doing great for us. Well, that's what I said. Why don't you just share me the actual screen and not the uh, stream thing? Anyways, I'm ready to go. My mom, I told my mom I can't talk right now. I was, I wasn't thinking straight. Okay. Um, all that's right. what I said. Okay, we're ready to go, guys. Phoenix Wright hype, blind playthrough, and I'm gonna announce it on my stream. For you, going. You mean your Discord? Dirk, yeah, Discord. Hey, look, there's the big one zero one icon. Yay. Episode one, the first turn about. Uh, I guess confirm. Yes. Get hype. Oh. <gasps> Oof. What is that? Oh, that that person dead. Oh, nice. Bad language. We can't play this anymore. I can't get caught. Not like this. I've got to find someone to pin this on. Well, we already know it's him. It's Game over. Like him. I'll make it look like he did it. August 3rd, 9.47 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, number two. Okay, this is the part where I go into the sound settings and then turn the game down a little bit more since this is still a little on the louder side. See, it's, an, it's a safe game to stream, but it's, it's a Nintendo game. It's on Nintendo systems. So you're fine. That doesn't mean Mortal Kombat was on Nintendo. Come on. <laughs> Here, this is you. Oh, uh, boy, I am nervous. Or, boy, am I nervous. Right. Oh, this that's is that, me. That's you. Right. Oh, uh, hi, uh, Chief. Whew. I'm glad I made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. It says a lot about you, and your client as well. Um, thanks. <laughs> Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. A favor? You mean, you need a defendant before this case? Yeah. Actually, I kind of owe my current job to him. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. I want to help him out any way I can. Okay, just so you know, <laughs> the defendant reminds me a lot of Troy. Keep that in your head. Oh, okay. So why am I helping him then if I, if, if, if it's Troy? I don't, don't want to help about him. it. You feel bad for him. <laughs> okay. I, I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. Oh, uh, oh, I'll do it. It's over! My life, everything, it's all over! Ellipses. <laughs> I thought you were just gonna say dot dot dot, but that works too. <laughs> Isn't that your client screaming over there? Yeah. That's him. Death! Despair! Ah! I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna die! <laughs> Sounds like he wants to die. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Butts. Butts. Nick! Hey. Hey there, Larry. Dude, I'm so guilty. Tell them I'm guilty. Why would I want to tell them that they're get like, he's guilty? Isn't he innocent? <laughs> you believe he is. Give me the death sentence. I ain't afraid to die. What? Strong, Larry. Oh, it's all over. I, I'm finished. Finished. I can't live in a world without her. I can't. Oh, it took her away from me, Nick. I did this. Oh, Nick, you gotta tell me. It took my baby away. This person is responsible for your girlfriend's death. The newspapers say it was you. Uh, 
my name is Carl one zero one, and I'm <laughs> okay. al- and I'm always right. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. It's already over. She's dead. A young woman was killed in her apartment. Okay. Uh, that's the first fact. The guy they arrested was the unlucky sap dating her. Okay, so that uh, is our what the defendant. That's the defendant, right? Just so you know, I don't. I think you can do it in this one. You can press the court record button anytime to look at your stuff while the dialogue's going on. Oh, hey, look, that that's a thing, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, hey, evidence. Oh, the autopsy report. Oh, there's there there's there's Mia. There's bots. There's Cindy. That's all we know. So yeah, it'll far. update as you go along. Okay. Larry Butts. My best friend since grade school. Who apparently is sweating beyond belief. That's a this lot of nervous s- animation. That that's a lot of sweat. He needs to go get that checked out. Our school had a saying. When something smells, it's usually the butts. It's a good life lesson. In the twenty three years I've known him, it's usually been true. Wow. That's harsh. So he was the smelly kid then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he has a knack for getting himself in trouble. One thing I can say, though, it's usually not his fault. He just had this terrible luck. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. That and I owe him one, which is why I took the case, to clear his name. And that's just what I'm going to do. Unless I fail. August 3rd. 10 a.m. Just a court courtroom number two. Does that bother you, by the way? What? That it's not 3 August, 10 a.m.? No. We don't say dates like that. It's just how we write them. Well, that's weird, then. Oh, I'm sorry. The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Watts. Get to love the ju- judge. Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The, um, defense! Yeah, is ready, Your Honor. Ahem! Mr. Wright! This is your first trial, is it not? Y- yeah! Your Honor, I'm, uh, a little nervous! <laughs> your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge. For your client's sake, I hope you can, av- can control your nerves. Thank- thank you, Your Honor! Ellipses. Ellipses. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should have a test uh, to ascertain your readiness. Uh, yes, Your Honor. This is the tutorial. I'm sorry. <sighs> Hands shaking, eyesight fading. This test will consist of a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and concisely. Please state the name of the defendant in this case. Now uh, you can look at your court record if you don't remember. Uh. Um. It's her, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's not the defendant. That's the victim. <laughs> <laughs> the defendant? Well, that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. <laughs> Correct. Just keep your wits about you and you'll do fine. See, this. Okay, can we just stop for a second? This mm-hmm. already sounds like a biased judge towards the defendant, so I would say that this judge is not a fair oh, judge. To no, the, the, case the description of the judge is he's easily swayed by people's views because he's a very kind hearted judge. He's not a good judge because he's easily swayed. <laughs> cool. Next question This is a murder trial. Tell me, what's the victim's name? <sighs> I know this one. Glad I read the case report coverage to cover so many times. It's... wait. Uh... oh. No, no way. I forgot. I'm drawing a total blank here. Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to do this? <laughs> don't even know the victim's name? Oh, the, the victim. Of, co- of course I know the victim's name. I, um, just forgot. Temporarily. I think you feel a migraine coming on. Look, the defendant's name is listed in the court record. Katie already told you all this, so you could probably skip through all this dialogue. (laughs) (laughs) 
Remember to check it off to do it for me, please. I'm begging you. What's her answer? Who's the victim in this case? Cinderblock. It's Cinderblock. <laughs> Cindy Stone. More puns. Um, the, the victim's name is Cindy Stone. Oh, yeah. I like how he nods. Correct. Mm -hmm. Now tell me, what was the cause of the death? She because oh, sorry, she died because she was. Now it tells you in the autopsy report. Uh, see, I, I don't even need to look at that stuff. I'm I'm well, that. You're going to need to. <laughs> I am that good, okay. Now at any point in the game. Mm -hmm. You want to save before you you get penalties if you guess things wrong. You can just pause the game, like start, and you can save at any point. So long as uh, it's not prompting you to open up the menu, you can save. But Do you have your start button selected or found already? No, actually, I don't remember what it was. Oh my goodness, go do that really quickly because that's gonna be really important. <laughs> nah, it'll, be, it'll be fine. We don't need no, no start button. No, because if, if you lose, you're gonna have to do the whole case over again. Fine, I'll go. <sighs> Dude, everyone did it in, in Phoenix, right? Come on, guys. Everyone did it. Uh, I think it's in the control. Especially when, when a certain Miss Prosecutor comes on. I won't spoil. I did it. Don't don't abuse it. But see, you can do see, it. See, Evie did didn't do it. He said that's cheating. Now I'm fun. now I'm never gonna hear the end of it from Evie. He's gonna be like Whatever. Carl the cheater. It's only one person. You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. Why are you speaking like Bane in your hands? I don't know. I'm adding excitement. Drama. Uh, thank you, Your Honor! Because I don't feel relaxed. That's for sure. Well then! First, a question for the prosecution, Mr. Payne. Yes, Your Honor. As Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what the object was? The murder weapon was the statue of the Thinker. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. I see. The court accepts it into evidence. Now, his name is Payne because he's a big pain in the butt. Really? That's actually why? I'm assuming so. Oh, so you made that up. I mean, all the names have puns to them, basically. So what is Mia's pun, then? You'll see it later. <laughs> oh, she actually has one? Yeah. Right. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. Tutorial. The evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. Touch the court record again, as Katie told you. That was a very weak hammer to the... Whatever it's yeah. called. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot his first name, Hyrule. His name is Winston Payne. So, like, Winston Payne. <laughs> because he's annoying. Yeah, that's right. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its first witness. Prosecution calls the defendant, Mr. Butts, to the stand. Um, Chief, what what do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. You'll get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. But I want to go first. Nope. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. Uh-oh. Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. God, that face. It's Troy. Ahem. <laughs> Ahem. Oh, sorry. Ow. <laughs> Mr. Butts, is it not true that re the victim had recently dumped you? Harsh. <laughs> hey, that's you. Oh. Oh. Hey! Watch it, buddy. We were great together. We were Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra, and Mark Anthony. Um, didn't they all die? <laughs> I wasn't dumped. She just wasn't taking my phone calls or seeing me ever. What's it to you, anyway? Mr. Butts, what you describe is generally what we mean by dumped. Harsh. 
In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. She had just returned from overseas from one of them the day before the murder. What you mean, one of them? Lies! All of it lies! I don't believe a word of it! Your Honor, the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Hold on a second. I'm gonna... This is still really loud for some reason. I gotta say, the music in this game is quality. 10 out of 10. Yeah. Passport. Hmm. Indeed. She appears to have returned the day before the murder. Dude. No way. Popcorn, Meg Logan. I don't really like soup or popcorn. Don't eat popcorn. The victim was a model, but did not have a large income. It appears that she had several sugar daddies. Daddies? Sugar? <laughs> yes, older men who gave her money and gifts. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. DUDE! We can clearly see the, what kind of a woman she is. Or what that? We can clearly see what kind of woman this Miss Stone was. Tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Right. I don't think you want him to answer that question. Yeah, Larry has a way of running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I? Your choice. Hmm. This is where I would save. <laughs> but where's the fun in that? Because if I wait and see what happens, then we could probably lose the case. But if I stop him from answering, like, I'm going to stop him from answering. My client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. That question is irrelevant to the case. What you mean, irrelevant? That cheating she dog? I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna drop dead. Yeah, and when I meet her in the afterlife, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Let's continue with the trial, shall we? Oh, I believe the accused's motive is clear to everyone. Yes, quite. Oh boy, this is so not looking good. Next question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? Go. Oh. Well, did you or did you not? <laughs> well, maybe I did and maybe I didn't. Uh-oh, he went. What do I do? Uh, Remember, you're in a court of law. Probably have to have him answer this honestly. I know, I'll send him a signal. Tell the truth! <laughs> er, yeah, yeah, I was there. I went. <laughs> Order! Well, Mr. Butts... Dude, chill. She wasn't home, man. So like, I didn't see her. Whoa. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Your Honor, the defendant is lying. Lying? The prosecution would like to call a witness who could prove Mr. Butts is lying. Uh oh. Well, that simplifies matter. Who is your witness? The man who found the victim's body. Just before making the gruesome discovery, he saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. Uh, 
Order! Order in the court! Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, Your Honor. This is bad. On the day of the murder, witness the, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Saw It to the stand. Saw It. Mr. Frank Saw It. Frank Saw It. Can I call objection and make him the... <laughs> the guilty? You gotta, you gotta build up your case. Gosh darn Mr. it. Mr. Saw It, you sell newspapers and subscriptions, is this correct? Do you want to do this or me? Uh... No, you all do it, because you'll be bouncing back and forth with him. Oh, yes, yes, newspapers, yes. Mr. Sot, you may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. Oh, it's the witness. Witness so testimony! So they're going to tell you stuff, and you read it, and then you'll have a chance to, like, go between the lines and try to find contradictions using evidence that you have. Okay. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing from an apartment. Now he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there, a woman, not moving, dead. I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. Weren't the times different? You definitely, you can definitely see. Time of death, 4 to 5. Okay, so... There's a contradiction there. Okay. So you have to finish to go right through this, and then you can, you can press that. You'll see. Okay. The man who ran was, without a doubt, the defendant sitting right over there. Hmm. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I can't defend you against a testimony like that. Incidentally, why wasn't the, the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. How convenient. Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phones that Mr. Sawat used is one of those. Your Honor, I have a record of the blackout for your per usual. I think it was actually per, per usual or whatever. I don't know. I read it wrong. That's fine. Let's see here. Electricity to Mr. Snow's building was out from noon to 6 p.m. Okay, so didn't he say that this was at 10 o'clock? Yeah, okay, so. No, he said it was at 1 p.m. Oh, okay. You'll be able to see it. But the murder was at 4 to 5, so that's that's the, the bigger issue at hand. Well, let's go back and then thank you'll get there. Yes, or yes, Your Honor. You may begin your cross-examination. Cross-examination, Your Honor. All right, right. This is it. The real deal. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Listen to Katie, because she just told you exactly what to do. Oh, uh, okay. Why? You exposed okay. the lies and the testimony the witness just gave. It's over, guys. I, I've been told to listen to Katie. It's over. Wow. <laughs> lies? What? He was lying! Your client is innocent, right? Then that witness must have, been, must have lied in his testimony. Or, is your client really guilty? <gasps> How do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's te testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. First, find contradictions between the court record and the witness's testimony. Then, once you've found the contradicting evidence, Present it and rub it in the witness's face. Ouch, that's not nice. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. 
All right, so this is where I would actually save. Because <laughs> these are good save points. Save the game and suspend play? Just hit yes. And then say continue. And then start from save point. Okay. Here you go. Let's see here. So you can press to get more information, or if you think you have something that's contradictive, you can uh, go left or right to select the prompt that he said it. And then when you find the one, so if you go to the time one, for example. It, it goes through all of it, but you can basically press mm. all of them and he'll give you additional right. information or whatever. He, he expands on it. Um, it's good to do that because it does give you new prompts, which triggers where you can present stuff. Okay, so... Uh, mm. So you can go to present on that. Uh, the top things of the on his screen, those are penalties. Uh, it changes later in the game, it becomes a bar, but basically that's how many times you can mess up. You found the body at 1 p.m.? You're sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes the time of death at sometime after 4 p.m. There was nobody to, er, no body to find at 1 p.m. <laughs> How do you explain this three-hour gap? Explanation points! Oh, that! Oh, eh. This is trivial! The witness merely forgot the time! After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. Mr. Saw It? Why were you so certain that you found the body at 1pm? I... Eh, well, I... Gee, that's a really good question. Great job, right? Way to put him on the spot. That's all you have to do. Point out the contradictions. Lies always beget more lies. See through one, and their whole story falls apart. Did I win? You, you, you got successful there. Wait! I remember now. Uh-oh. So now he's gonna do another round of this. Okay. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. There's no power. <laughs> Did I already win? Come on. This is easy baby uh, mode. But it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a taped program. Somebody's phone is going off. Oh, Canada's doing an emergency alert testing. Sorry. Oh. Terribly sorry about the mis misunderstanding. I can do this. Hmm, I see. I, you heard a voice saying the time on a taped program. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Right. You know what to do. I've got this one. Why are you reading it like the judge? Now? Shut up. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Okay. Are you guys in chat? There. Objection. Hold it right there. The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this record proves it. <gasps> I just finished eating my sandwich. You couldn't have heard a television or a video. Yeah. Uh, well, our... The defense has a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Slot? No, I, I find it quite puzzling myself. Quite. 
Ellipses. There we go. <laughs> uh, ah, wait, I remember now. Mr. Sight! The court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. These constant corrections are harmoning your, your credibility. That and... Oh, that's you. Sorry. That, and you seem rather distraught. <laughs> My apologies, Your Honor. It, it must have been shock from finding the body. Very well, Mr. Sot. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. Alright, here we go. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. But there's no power. There oh, was a table clock in the apartment. Or, sorry. There was a table clock in the apartment. It wasn't there. Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. That was a clock? I guess I... That must have been what I saw. You saw a clock. I guess that would explain it. The defense may cross-examine the witness. Gladly. Okay, so... Well, you can look at the the, the evidence through present. You don't have to hit, like, present. And you can actually read right. uh, along to see as well. What does is, what is press do again? Uh, it basically, he questions the, each statement individually, and he will expand on it. It's just additional dialogue. Sometimes it adds new dialogue, which you can present evidence on. It's, it's helpful. Yeah. This is just a, the tutorial mission, basically. But there will be times where you have to press statements. It's basically used for if you can't find anything to shove it in their faces. Or if there's like something kind of fishy with the statement. You can like you could probably press on him to learn what the the statue is. Yeah, okay. So let's back it up then. A table clock? Was there a clock at the scene? This is the first I've heard of it. So you can probably press uh, this one. Okay, so he. All right, let's let's read out. That. Yeah, like, it's just like, like standard dialogue. The murder okay. weapon. Yes, table clock that was used as a weapon. Okay, so that's where now I could probably present it as. Yeah, you'll see. That's what I just said. Did you doze off in the middle of my testimony or something? Something's fishy here. Now, find the contradiction. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Mia. Okay, so let's... There you go. Wait, just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was the statue. Now, how is this supposed to be a clock? What? You with your objections and your evidence. Just what do you- who do you think you are? Just answer the question, Mr. Sot. Hey, I- I saw it there, okay? That's a clock. Your Honor, if I may. Yes, Mr. Payne? As the witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. You just tilt it and it says the time out loud. Oh, but he said he saw it. And as it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. I see. So, the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Well, Mr. Wright? It appears that the witness's testimony was correct. This is a clock. Do you have any problems with his testimony now? Uh... Yes. Go with your judgment. Your Honor, there's a gaping hole in the witness's testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand. 
Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Oh! Clearly a contradiction. Hmm, indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he... I guess it'd be went into the apartment then. I guess either answer would be correct. He had to have well, known the victim to kill the victim, or he went into the apartment to kill the victim. So Not necessarily. Go with your gut. I'm gonna go he went into the You're lying! You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Oh yeah? Prove it. Prove it I went in there. I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. You struck her with the clock, and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. Order in the court. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Saw it. The sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. That voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. What's the meaning of this? This is all uh, baseless conjecture. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face. <laughs> Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? I, 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 say, I, I never. Look, I, the clock. I heard. No, I mean, I saw, I saw. Was that really necessary? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I hate you. I, it was him. I tell you, I saw him. He, he killed her, and he should burn, burn, give him death. Phoenix just took it. <laughs> Order! Order in the court, I say! Your Honor, a moment, please. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claim. Mr. Wright! Your Honor? You claim the sound the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? The whole case is writing on this. I'd better think it through carefully. Yes, Your Honor! The sound Mr. Saw had heard was definitely the clock. A fact which is clear if you simply... Uh... Ask the neighbors. Sounding the clock basically means trying it. <laughs> it doesn't really give me much evidence about the actual clock itself. Uh-huh. So my guess would be that just try sounding the clock. I guess. Mm -hmm. Ask the neighbors to throw away. And examine the clock's batteries could mean anything. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I asked the court to listen very carefully. Beep. I, I think it's... 8.25. That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. Well, he is the thinker, after all. So, we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is right now? It's 11.25. As you can see, the clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the discrepancy between what Mr. Saw had heard and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Saw it, try to talk your way out of this one. Ellipses. <laughs> you forget, forgot one thing. Uh oh, what's he talking about? Well, it may seem like that clock is running three hours slow, it proves nothing. How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? If you can't prove that, you don't have a case. He's right. How am I going to prove that? Dang it. I was so close. M Mr. Wright? 
It seems you lack the crit critical evidence to support your claim. Yes, Your Honor. Is, I, am I gonna lose? I can still technically prove it with the passport. Yep. You still could. Don't give up yet. Unfortunately, this ends the cross-examination of Mr. Frank saw it. I come all this way down here to testify and look what happens. They treat me like a criminal. A criminal! You lawyers are all slime. Ouch. Grr, I almost had him. Sorry, Larry. I failed. What, so I really actually failed? No. There's nothing I can do about it now. It's being dramatic. Oh. Not so fast, Mr. Sot. Mia! I mean, Chief. Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. But, Chief, it's over. I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you still can't win. Try thinking outside of the box. More like outside of the hexagon. <laughs> Don't waste time making shapes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't waste time doubting the facts. Assuming the clock was three hours slow and... Think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason, and you'll have your proof. Right? Right? <laughs> Can you think of a reason as to why the clock could be three hours slow? Wait! Maybe I can prove it! You must have the evidence somewhere that can prove it, right? Find it, and let them have it. Well, Mr. Wright, you say the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder. Have you found evidence to support this claim? Of course! There is a piece of evidence in the court record that can pr prove my claim beyond a doubt. Ha! <laughs> Tough words. Let's see you pull this one off. Alright, so... The past... Poor... You know, I think you can save now. I don't think you can, but... Where are they actually located? Uh, America. Okay. So, that would probably be correct then. Take that! Take I think that. either way, if it was... Because if the original game was in Japan, I think either way it works out. The victim had just returned home from the abroad the day before the murder. Oh wait, why am I reading as the judge? I'm not the judge, I'm Phoenix. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is 9 hours. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't three hours slow, it was nine hours fast! The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in your apartment was wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Saw It, or should I say, Mr. Did It! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, ki I killed them! <laughs> Order! Order, I say! I'm sorry for gurgling in your guys' ears. <laughs> <sighs> well, this case has certainly turned out differently than we all expected. Mr. Payne, your client? He, uh, he was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. Well, that was quick. Very well. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. I have I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly. And find the truth culprit at the same time. Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, this is only a formality, but this court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts, NOT GUILTY! There's actual lore in this game that a certain character uh, does the confetti for that. And You'll with that, the court is adjourned. 
Seriously? That you got you guys are nerds that much that you're finding things about people stewing yeah. confetti? Yeah. <laughs> it turns out that Frank saw it was a common burglar. He posed as a newspaper salesman to check out and see when people were out of the house. That day, when Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Sawit let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Sawit grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. Oh. August 3. 2.32 p.m. District Court. Defendant Lobby. Number 2. Whew, I still can't believe I won. Man, I'm that good. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right. Good job in there. Congratulations. Thanks, Chief. I owe it all to myself. Uh -huh. Not at all, not at all. <laughs> you fought your own battles in there. Let her, look, it sounds better when you're being humble and not, like, egotistical, dude. <laughs> Well, you wanted me to read all of this, so you know. Uh -huh. It's been a while since I've I've seen a trial, and on such a satisfying note. I've never seen the chief looking this happy. If she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. Oh. My life is over. Larry, you're supposed to be happy. What's wrong now? Oh, Nick. Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. Good. Wait. No. I mean bad. Bad, bad, bad. <laughs> Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. Uh, ellipses. <laughs> <laughs> but my Sydney Winnie's gone, man. Gone forever. Larry, she was a... Uh, uh, never mind. Congratulations, Harry. Who's Harry? It's Harry Butts. Er, Harry? Yes, you. I can practically see the headlines now. Harry Butts. Innocent. This is so terrible. They did it intentional. <laughs> oh, thanks. I really owe you one. I won't forget this, ever. Let's celebrate. Dinner? Movie? My treat. Oh, no. I couldn't. Hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. Oh, hey. Here, take this. It's a present. Present? For me? Wait, wasn't this the evidence then? Actually, I made this clock for her. I made one for her and one for me. Really? You? You made this? Whoopsies. <laughs> well, thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. Yo, Nick. Why does he keep calling him Nick? Uh, that's his actual name. What, Nick Because right? Phoenix and Nick sound the same. Oh. And, I don't know. I, I think it's probably a not, uh, Japanese thing too, but yeah, his real name is Nick. Can you believe it? I was so into that into that chick, not that clock. <laughs> it's a real clock. And she was just playing me for a fool. Don't that make you want to just cry? <laughs> it's a terrible sob. Larry! Not even saying it anymore at this point, <laughs> anime. <laughs> Are you so sure? Please me? I think she thought quite a lot of you in her own way. Nah, you don't gotta sympathize with me. It's okay. Oh, I'm not just sympathizing, really. Isn't that right, right? Don't you have something to show your friend? Do I have to present the evidence and we're gonna cross-examine everything he said? <laughs> no, you just have to, you have to put his, his hopes out. Something that proves how, he, how she felt about him. Huh? Oh, yeah, right. Um, this is the true ending, by the way, if you get it right, true ending. 
Sasha's show the attorney's badge. Take that! Take that! Check this out, Larry. Prove positive you weren't just some chump to her. Uh, where'd you get that clock? This is the clock you made for her, Larry. She took it with her when she traveled. Hmm, probably just needed a clock, that's all. You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. So much so that you can use it as a blunt force weapon. Yeah. I don't think that would go through our airplane security, to be honest. <laughs> you could get it through. They, they don't want sharp things. Mm -hmm. You could make it through with dull things. Come on, you could whack somebody over with a laptop. True. Well, make of it what will you, or what you will. Mm. Hey, Nick. What I asked you to be my lawyer. Really, I am. Thanks. That looks like an unhealthy amount of crying there. He needs to get that looked at. And it's I don't, noodle tears. I don't know what happened to his eyes there, but he needs to get that looked at too. Hope that made him feel a little better. Right? I hope you see the importance of evidence now. I don't. Also, hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People, too. We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. In order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Right. Listen. Learn. Grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Well, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off? I'm, I'm getting so sick of listening to this music. <laughs> yeah. Maybe over soon. I guess so. Hey, how about dinner, honey? I hate dinner. I we'll hate drink drinking toast. To innocent butts. No. Oh, speaking of Harry, you were saying part of why you became a lawyer was because of, because of him. Or uh, yeah, part at least. You also tell me why about it sometimes. Maybe over drinks. And so my first trial came to a close. Larry slapped me on the back and said, Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends. But I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay me, unless you count the clock he gave me a... Wow, what a jerk. Ellipses. I didn't know it then, but that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. What, is Mia going to die now? And my promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. The end. Of the first, uh. No, it's over. Edition. We beat it. No, this is the bonus episode. Turnabout uh, Sisters. We did it. Yay! We beat Going it. In. Yay! It's, it's over. It's over. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Press yeah. one if you want oh, more. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, there's no. I almost hit two. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> wow! Let's go! D d <laughs> what is in your name? How about a swear? It's like Beaver's Dam, man. <laughs> Canada. I don't know about this game. Wait, you're not liking it? Oh no, I, I like it. Harder. It was just tutorial land. I suppose I should save, shouldn't I? Yeah, you probably should. And then I'm gonna actually save the other way. Oh, yeah. Whoa, what is that mod on your DS? Oh, it's, it's it's pretty awesome mod, actually. Um, I'll tell you how to do it later. I'll send you a link for it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I like the, the stylus marker you have, too. It's Hasht a lot like a cursor. Hashtag Tom is rubbing off on Katie. <laughs>
uh, speed. Uh, we could probably do Professor Layton. Why do you want to do putt putt though? That's my question. Ring, ring. Oh, are you? Are you, this, it. are you the phone now? Are we still yeah. doing this? Are we gonna play do the whole game like yeah, this? Yeah, this. Yeah, why not? Like I start the next one. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, Hello, uh, this is Maya. Hey, Maya, it's me. It's Mia, and Maya. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely, and it's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. Best character, by the way. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you? Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So, what is it this time? It's a clock. Wow, she's gonna give her the clock? After she yeah. nicely got it as a present? Mm -hmm. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like a, that statue of the thinker. It tells you the time. Thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey! I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now. You know I'm only teasing. Eh, huh. I should probably tell you the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take out the clockwork. Out, or I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. Put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm, well, there is a possibility that might turn out that way, and guess. Can you come by the office tonight, say 9pm, to pick it up? I'll be in a, a pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner, something good. Like, burgers. Could oh. really go for a good burger. Come on, that's not fair! I was talking about burgers yesterday! <laughs> I still want a burger! This game does have an anime, and it's actually very loyal to the game. A lot of people don't like it, but I actually love it. Okay, okay. We'll hit the usual joint. What's the usual joint? I don't know. I'll say McDonald's for you. I don't like McDonald burgers. Oh. All right. It's a deal. Uh, I think it's literally just called Ace Attorney. Or Phoenix Wright or something. Okay, sis. See you soon. I'll be waiting, Maya. Or, yes, Maya. Oh, that was an awful sounding beep. Conversation recorded September 5th, 9.27 a.m. September 5th, 8.57 p.m. Faye and Cola offices. Oh, okay. Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine. The papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you are a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Ho oh, ho! You are not co uh, cognifarious of my background? Gathering information is my business, you see. I... I should have been more careful. Ho ho! My dear Miss Faye, I am so very sorry. But I am afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence! Farewell, Miss Faye! Exclamation points. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, she dead. When I first played this game, I actually cried because I really liked Mia. Or Maya. Maya, I don't know. Red, white, blue. Wah, wah, wah. 
I was really upset. <laughs> September 5th, 908 p.m., Faye and Co. Law Offices. Uh-oh, I'm late. Huh, that's strange. The chief must have gone home already. She said her sister was coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. Ellipses. What's that smell? Blood? I thought it was burgers. Mia! Maybe she's in her office. So now this is what the screen looks like. So you can examine the room. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't right now. Or why you would. Uh, which, it'll give, like, sometimes when you're, like, looking around, it'll give you, like, evidence and stuff to, like, pocket. Or you can just move to different areas. <laughs> He's probably gonna tell you it's all the time for this. <laughs> so you, do, you just kind of click where you want to go. I guess there's nothing to really examine. Or, no, like, you know, you, yeah, you, you click where you want to examine, and then you move to, to move. <laughs> I'm assuming, I don't think it's going to let you. Yeah, I'm assuming if, like, I wanted to examine this, it would let me examine it when I clicked on it. Why well, are you clicking on it? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's not going to let you do it right now. <laughs> going to the it's office. Good. That smell. Blood. Stop. Sis. Someone's there! Ellipses followed by exclamation point. <laughs> Chief! Chief! There's a Metal Gear reference. <laughs> don't, don't, I could go find the sound. <laughs> no, it's okay. Who are you? I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> Chicken. That's the strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the so office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally she was cold. Chief! Chief! It's hard seeing her like this, but if I, there are any clues here, she was struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. Hmm, there are some glass shards near the chief's body. Must be pieces of the glass light standing with a lying broken in the back of the room. Nothing else that seems like a clue here. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm already tired of this case. I need a new one. I already solved it. A piece of paper! It must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? Exclamation point. A word is written in blood on the scrap of paper. Maya. Did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store, dated yesterday. I think that's enough snooping around for now. I'd better call the police and find out what that girl was doing here. What's up, Dolly? Uh, sometimes uh, when you're looking around a scene at the bottom of the screen, uh, there's two arrows, which you can kind of do back and forth, but there's nothing... There's nothing else you can find, but there's a phone there you can interact with. That's how you call up all the books. The Faye and Cole ledger book. Everything is written in the Chief's ultra-neat handwriting. It's a small office, but it makes a good bit of money. Yeah, that's basically the gist of Phoenix, right? There will be some gimmicks later, but... Surprisingly, the Chief was never good with machines. But all she used this PC for was email. She picked up this ancient model at some garage sale for practically nothing. 
Uh, it looks ancient. It's like a Windows 95. Right. I'd better call the police. Hmm? That's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. It looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Police? Please, come quick! What was that? Someone screaming from outside the window. She's staring right at me! She's holding a phone in her hand! There's a large building across from the office. The Gatewater Hotel. A nice, luxurious place. Might as well examine everything. The chief's chair. A simple, functional design. Feels pretty good to sit in, too. Better take it for my personal use. <laughs> if it was the chief's chair, it means it's the best chair. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Mia has died. She was murdered. All the chief's important documents are packed in here. This is where she filed her case records and recent rulings. I suppose there's not much else here, is there? No. Okay, so get back. That girl just now, where'd she go? I put her right there on the sofa. Uh-oh. I hope she didn't run out on me. Yipes! Don't scare me like that. It's scary. Uh, excuse me, but who are you? It's okay. I work here. You know, you, you can at least tell me ellipses. It's, it's all right. Uh, Maya. I didn't see Maya. Oh, Faye. I, I didn't see all oh, in the beginning of that. Maya, Faye. Maya. So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt. I never thought there'd be a, a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. So you can talk to the person, or you can present them and then make them talk about things more if it's relevant, but it's your choice what you would like to do. That's the game. <laughs> what happened? She seems to be in shock. I don't want to disturb her, but I have to know. Um, excuse me. Can you tell me what happened? Uh. Came in. The room was dark. And sis. Sis. So she was already dead. So you're the chief's... Sister. I'm her younger sister. And you were here. Visiting? This late at night? Yes. She said she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Yes, it was that clock. It was the thinker. Best character. Love her. <laughs> you, should, you should present your, your badge. Well, Always present your badge when you can. Really? I'm sorry, uh, I've my, never seen that before. <laughs> my, uh, my graphics card needs to be updated because it keeps flickering in and out. Sorry, I was, I was, uh, I couldn't read it. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote on it, the on the back of the receipt. Yeah. <laughs> That's my name. Why? Why would she write my name? Please, just calm down. Why would this write my name? Uh-oh. Now I've done it. The police! Sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze! Please! <laughs> it's okay, we can multiple ones. Alright, I can voice him. Alright, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, see? You should look up the meaning of Gumshoe, by the way. It's Gumshoe? Also fun. What an odd name. 
We received a report from the building across the way. See? Oh, come on. You, you gotta you gotta give it more of that uh that old timey voice. Let, let me yeah. give it a try here. Got a person saying they saw a murder. Say. It must have been that woman I saw. Dang that woman. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving on okay. one edge, okay? Okay. He doesn't talk like this the rest of the game. <laughs> great. It's great. I'm the murderer now. Maya, wait, she wouldn't have. Nah. Whoa! You got a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Eek. This word Maya or Maya here mean anything to you? Eep. <laughs> um, that. That's my name. What? <laughs> Whoa, this guy's crazy. I love him. The victim drew this here, uh, this here note in her own blood. See. With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. Killer? I'm not. Case closed. You're coming down to the 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 pre the pre clink. I don't know. The how to precinct. Say that. Thank you. Precinct, man. What? To say I've never seen that word before. <laughs> Mia's younger sister Maya was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. Dang, that's a long time to be there. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around waiting for more out waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. God, Dolly says you're Nick. Get it? Cause his name is Nick. Ha. Huh. <laughs> September sixth, nine or seven AM detention center visitors room. Wow, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh. It's you, the lawyer. Good morning. Good morning! She looks so tired. But I'm tired too. <laughs> um. Um. Are you going to be my attorney? No. Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about, but now that you brought it up, not particularly. Sorry, not a chance. Would that just be an automatic loss? You were Nick, not me. <laughs> <laughs> I love these three options. It's up to you. You know, let's ask the girl who can't form together half of her sen sentences to make up a, dis a big decision like this. Save and find it out. Can I save right now? Yeah, you can. <laughs> I I do do that for some of the options because I'm very curious. So how does this work when I I hit continue? Yeah, and then you just do save and. All right. Sorry, not a chance. Maybe if I choke a bit, she'll cheer up. Ha <laughs> ha! No way, Jose. Just kid. Wow. And visiting hours are over. Oh, she did laugh! We got a laugh! Yeah! It's Katie, I think, has run away. How rude of her. How's everybody doing while we're waiting for her? Come on. What's up? Oh, we, we were just waiting on you. Yeah, that's fine. Was, was that a chuckle? What? Was she too good to laugh? No. It wasn't very believable, was it? <laughs> Not really. I'm sorry. I just thought, since you made a joke, please, don't mind me. You're just... You're doing just fine. Who's trying to cheer up who here? I knew it. No one will believe me. What? Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. 
Did I look at her like that? No, no, I never thought. It's okay. I understand. And I've also heard about you. Heard? You heard about me? The legendary Carl 101? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day, and she was telling me how stupid of a person you are with your <laughs> full on ego. Ugh. <laughs> You're right, you're not believable. <laughs> Dang, dude. <laughs> or, I'm sorry, objection! She's not believable! Ugh. Today was uh, my junior junior's partner. Uh, today was my junior partner's first time in court. Well, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. Ha! <laughs> so he crashed and burned? He's a genius. One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Ha! Huh. Sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get into trouble now. I don't know, Amaya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is... Un unless you want to be found guilty. Hmm. Uh-oh, she's researching something. No, I was typing this. <laughs> Ellipses. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to trouble you. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But at the same time, I can't just sit and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Mia. Ellipses. <laughs> I know. Hmm. Wait, where'd she go? Oh, so you're looking behind her. You know she's there. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch. A real pro, this guy. Smile for the camera! <laughs> Guess that's all that's in there. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with that outfit? It's awful. Oh, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. A acolytes? Like people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium in training. It's... it's Spirit medium? Pretty sure that qualifies as strange. Let's question more about it. So you're on, you're an acolyte, a uh, medium in training. That's right. The Fey family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second, you said the Fey family? So Mia was into this stuff too? Of course. Wow, she just got really, really happy all of a sudden. Look how adorable she is. Calm down. This is too happy. She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Powers were first class, too. I, I had no idea. Speed, shut up. Ugh, that was bad. <laughs> What's a psychic's favorite size to wear medium? <laughs> Hmm. Wait. What? Oh, that's you. That was me. What? So you're a real honest-to-goodness spirit medium, 
with ESP and all that. Yes, in training. <laughs> well, can't you contact Mia's spirit then? We can just ask her who killed her. I mean, Phoenix Wright has got the knowledge. He he is on top of this already. Ah, uh, explanation point with ellipses. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm still in training, as I've said three times now. Objection! <laughs> she could call a master to do it. Uh -huh. I couldn't do something on that level. Hmm, I thought that would be too easy. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Because I know you want to talk about that right now. Yeah. Yes! Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes, that clock shaped like the thinker. The one Larry made. How could that have been evidence in a case? Um, right. She said something about that. <laughs> It's anime, man. What do you expect? <laughs> I remember. Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Wait, what? Her, her own voice? Yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it? Yeah. I forgot how to delete those things. Some seriously important information there, man. So, you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone. Let's hear it. Right. Oh, God, she got really happy again. Is she in dorms? Oh. I just remembered the detective took my cell phone. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure, thanks. How is she able to write a note? Yeah, it was probably that's the, in there. That's the real crime. That's that's the real questions. Next. Um. Huh. Something the matter? Um, I was wondering, can I ask you a favor? No. This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave it to me a long time ago. She said if I ever was in trouble, I should call him. What? I'm not good enough? And, well, I'm in trouble. Do you think you could go and ask him to represent me? Hmm. <laughs> Mr. Jerk Carl. You can also just save it in the same state and then load the same state. Oh, yeah, I guess I could do that too, couldn't I? Oh, it's a little late now. Oh, no, you won't, never mind. I'm sorry! I think this is the kind of thing you should do really do yourself. Wow! You're right. Something wrong? Actually, I asked the police to contact him when they tried a few times. Nobody could get a hold of him. They couldn't find him? I have no one left to ask. Say, what about your parents? Oh, I brought up a bad topic now. <laughs> oh, it's a really bad one. Oh, it's Three super of bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't worry. I'll go ask him for you. <laughs> One sec, one sec. <laughs> Gladys the lawyer. <laughs> That's too good. You will? Thank you so much. I'm just worried what will happen if That's I can't oh. me! <laughs> Sorry, I'm just worried about what will happen if I can't find him. They, they told me that if I okay. don't find him. <laughs> okay. 
They told me that if I don't buy one, the state will pick me an attorney. The state will pick an attorney to, attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They're giving me until 4 p.m. this afternoon. And visiting hours are almost up. I'd better hurry. Right. The anime for this is really good. I'll be back. Why isn't this one cleared? You can talk about it again. Could, didn't we read this one though? Sorry, I know. Oh, no, I see. Yeah. Maybe. Hold on. Hold a down B. Wait, no. If you if you can if you hold down the button or if you hold down like click on the bottom screen, if you can uh, fast forward it, it means you've read it already. Okay, no, you're good. Okay. All I've been doing for the last few hours is talking about it, so it's new. I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see. Good morning, I call from- wait, hold on, try it again. Let's hold it. I am holding it. It's not- Okay. Maybe not. Uh, but we have read wanted... this before. Yeah. Skip it, maybe. Guys, you can click a stylus on a screen! Oh, maybe this is new. It was right around 9 p.m. that she arrived at the office. Oh yeah, the this lights is new. were off, and I could smell blood. Then I found her, my sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. Oh, she looks so upset. Don't think we need to present or anything. Nothing to examine, so I would say it's time to move on. So, well, your choice where you want to go. September 6th, Grossberg Law Offices. According to the receptionist, the big boss is the big boss. <laughs> she couldn't say they when. They a lot of stuff to see now. <laughs> she couldn't say when he'd be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention run an office like this. Guys, speed. I'm completely off topic. We need a Psycho Mantis emote. Anyways, I guess I'll just have to come back later. Mm. I'll be making you a Phoenix Wright emote. Don't you have one? No, I'm making you one. We're gonna. It is my job to examine every chair in this game. Expen Readers. Expensive looking mahogany bookshelves filled with the expensive looking books. Hmm, funny. They don't look like they've ever been read. You didn't get the chair. No, I didn't. I'm really disappointed though. Darn. Defeated. Look at the painting, man. A solid mahogany desk. That that desk probably weighs like 500 pounds. Mm -hmm. That painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The other paint is so thick it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either, for that matter. Phoenix is now a, you know, an art judge person. Critique. An expensive potted plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. So what plant is it? I don't know. But it's probably the most expensive one. <laughs> a table for clients. Hmm, an elegant ebony case. And if I'm not mistaken, that lighter's made of solid gold. Even I can tell someone to hear, someone here's got money to burn. Is there actually something I'm looking for here? No, you came here to talk to the lawyer guy, and he's not here yet. He'll probably be back later after you do stuff. <clears throat> so I should probably go back to Faye and Cole Law Offices. Mm -hmm. Talk to you. The office is filled with police officers. They're all busily searching for clues. Hey! You there! This is a crime scene, pal! No trespassing! Um, sorry. Did I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? Wow, no. See? No. Phoenix Wright, how could anyone mistake me for Larry? 
Uh, guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy. He was a killer, and you're no killer, right? He was proven in innocent. I'm right, and you were... <laughs> Detective Suede Shoes. Right, at your service. Hang on, that's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyways, get the name right. I did, didn't I? Yeah, you did. That's the point. <laughs> and don't go calling me Dick. <laughs> hey, Dick, get over here! <laughs> yes, sir! Be right there. Womp, womp. Um, ahem. <clears throat> You're her lawyer, right, pal? Oh, who says got it memorized? Oh, that's gonna bother me now. Oh, it's gonna bother me now. Mm -hmm. That's Axel from Kingdom Hearts, isn't it? I think I got that right. You got business here, you better do it quick. Whew. He thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. I said Axel, not actual. I heard Axel. About Miss Faye, did you do an autopsy? Huh? What are the results, eh? Ellipses. No, don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She may have been your boss, but it doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Alright, alright. You can see the report, but that's all. Excellent. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you're not, you aren't gonna win. Why do you say that? The city's put... Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth? I'm sure you know what that means, you being a lawyer and all. Prosecutor Edgeworth? That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, you do know him, don't you? Of course I do. I know him. He's a feared prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain. He doesn't feel remorse. He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Oh, don't talk about him that way. He makes it sound barely human. What's up, D-Justice? How are you doing today? Hey, D-Justice. Still, I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. So, Edgeworth is on this one. He hasn't lost a case since he became a prosecutor at the incredibly young age of 20. Of course. There are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crimes with an almost abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. I guess that's all I'm So you can either investigate, you can present stuff to him, kind of do what you want, whatever feels right to you. Is there a point to even presenting stuff to them? Yeah, they can give you more information and new prompts and stuff they can talk about. It's kind of up to you at this point. Huh? What's that? Sorry, pal, but I got no info for the likes of you. Well, that sucked. That basically, they, they always have a, a certain message for uh, items that don't do anything. Yeah. Have a good day, Dolly. I'll hopefully see you later tonight at the Wind Waker stream. There was broken glass at the, scene, the crime scene, right? Huh? Oh, that. Seems like a glass stand uh, next to the victim fell over. Glass shards were, uh, were pieces of the broken stand. Um. I was wondering, did you see Maya Faye's cell phone? Oh, that? I have that. What is that? What it's, is it, that? It's a phone. 
before. What is that? The age of horse. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's okay, even in the modern games, Phoenix has like a flip phone. <laughs> Do you think you could give it back? Sure. I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Uh oh, he's on to me. Tell him not so straight. Hmm. If I tell him why, I want it there. I want it. There's no way he'll give it to me. Something the matter? Oh, no. It's just, you know, detective. Nope. I know nothing, pal. That cell phone has a lot of numbers on it. Like her boyfriend's. A cell phone holds all of... A, girl, a little girl's sweetest and spiciest secrets. Perk? You're trying to confuse me. Sorry, pal. I already checked all the numbers in memory. Impressive. You're quite the detective. Uh-huh. Oh, here. You can have the phone back. There were any suspicious call, uh, call records in there after all. Seems he didn't notice the record the recorded conversation. That was easy. I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. You all done, pal? Um, yes, thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you better not. No influencing the witness with your lawyerly ways, pal. Lawyerly ways. Ellipses. Come to think of it, I had completely forgotten about her. The witness? Yeah, Miss April May. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to this game, man. This is terrible. Again, you should look at what gumshoe means. Sorry about this. I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name, Miss May, huh? So you've sent her home already, then? Aha! You're trying to, you're trying your loyal, loyal, uh, lawyerly tricks on me now. <laughs> Not going outside her room until the trial. So, she's still in the hotel across the way? <laughs> I guess I should know better than to try to get an, a detective to leak information. You got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. <laughs> I love gumshoes so much. <laughs> okay. Alright, that's all done. Gatewater Hotel. September 6th. Gatewater Hotel. Room 303. Well, hello there, handsome. Oh, my God. I'm it's done. Going? I, it's, it's, I'm done. It's over. Goodbye. <laughs> this has been Phoenix Wrong. Um, hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. <laughs> You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Memo to yourself. Thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. This is all like something out of a movie. It's all so exciting. I can hardly contain myself. Oh, let me go freshen up so I can look the part, the beauty, the beautiful eyewitness. Oh boy, I pity the lawyer that has to cross-examine this one. <laughs> There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey, it, hey! What are you doing? Don't no touching. Oh god. Was that a twitch? Oh, she is twitching. Oh, how weird. That's that's Oh god, no. Oh. 
that a boy? You really shouldn't pry around other people's rooms now. He wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Yeah, upset? I thought she was going to explode there for a second. I wonder what could be inside that drawer. I gotta know now. It's almost like it's a screwdriver. Do you think you could tell me something? I need to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Oh, observe, incident, you sound just like a lawyer in the movies. Oh my god, I don't want to talk. Can I just do the case without even having to talk to her? Oh, just wait. I'll man. make it, I'll make it happen. I like a man with a big vocabulary. Um, better not encourage her. Or, you know, that thing that occur, um, happened the other day, the bad thing. <laughs> What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it. Pretty, please? Let me see. Um, well, dream on. Wow. If you want to know, you'll have to just come to court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh, boy. Um, could you just, just who exactly are you? Oh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? No. <laughs> hey, I'm just doing my job over here. Hee <laughs> hee, you know, you're cute in your blush. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed this much. Um, <laughs> right, can you just tell me what it is you do? Well, sup, Chikiriko? No. And you, you had your little hopes up, didn't you? Wow. Oh, boy. I, I, do I need to even, like, talk to Let's her? Let's go. It's the last one. Let's go. Hey, Jake. I see there are two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here with you? Oh, what amazing powers of observation. He must be one of those famous detectives, like on television. I'm Angelic Zelda, sup? Or Katie? Oh no, not me. I'm er, just a lawyer. Say, hey, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you look for some clues in the garbage, hmm? Wow. Miss May, er, Miss May doesn't like uh, nosy little lawyers. <laughs> what a. So this has been just a waste of time. Actually, I gave you, I gave you, I gave you some stuff. So I'm not gonna tell you what, because you're the one playing, not me. I just want to make her mad again. <coughs> <coughs> Maybe later. <laughs> Guess there's not much of uh, anything else here to do. You can also present stuff. But I'm a witness, police witness. You understand? How can I possibly give you any information in good conscience? Hmm? Me, the witness, is just like the movie. <laughs> Welcome to this game. <laughs> Oh, okay, so she's not gonna. Yeah, say you anything. just yeah. It's basically, this is her message when she doesn't have anything. Okay. To add. Well, okay. I guess uh, we're done here. <laughs> Chat's violent, man. Hmm. Are you still out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If that wasn't the most over-the-top clearing of the throat I've ever heard. I could do it. Because you're the one doing Nick, so. Aha! Uh -huh, so you've been the one they say has been looking for me. Uh, yes, that's me. He looks even grander than I imagined. Hmm? That badge on your collar. Ah, so you're a lawyer, are you now? Yeah, well... Yes. And what do you want? 
I'm not particularly busy these days. Please proceed. Not busy? Then how come no one could get in touch with you? Hmm? Something the matter? Came, you came to see the one and only Marvin Grosbird, did you not? Well, here I am, boy! What do you want? Out with it! Uh, well, sir, actually, it's about Maya, Maya Fang. Ellipses with an explanation point. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, Maya Fang. Go on. Hmm. Why the strange reaction? Acha cha. I'm really quite busy here, son. Can't go taking cases on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. Wait a second. How do you know the trial was tomorrow? Erk. <clears throat> Anyways. I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry. End of discussion. What's going on here? You refused me before I even got the chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? How can you just refuse like that? Please, tell me why you won't be able to take the case. Hmm? Uh, <laughs> well, you see, it's just... I'm busy, you see. Objection! You said you weren't busy these days. <laughs> but the client is Mia Fey's sister. Hmm. <clears throat> Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, of course, I know that. However... I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry. Goodbye. Creep. <laughs> Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look somewhere else. Huh? Did you say something, punk? I think not, I said. What do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry. But I'm afraid that no liar worth their salt will take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I cannot say. I'm also giving my fair share of ellipses. <laughs> I beg your pardon, but could you leave? Now? I have nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? How did you know me a fae? More ellipses for you, my good boy. <laughs> she worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission? You can see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion. Never looked back, that one. That's quite a painting. Aha! You noticed. It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? No, it smells awful. I know. The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the weave, the straw hat. It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. Three million? No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. I wasn't interested. <laughs> it's not for sale. I'm not buying. Jeez. So my advice with this game, if you're gonna present shit, burp stuff. Wow. Talky, she talky. <laughs> uh, I apologize. Um, I would do all of it. Because you might actually miss something. <laughs> so there's no consequence to presenting just everything? No, no, no. The only time there's a consequence is in actual court. Okay. So, like, you- that's like his- I don't have anything important to say. Right. Okay. But some- like, it's- it's important to kind of cover all grounds if you think you- you're stuck. 
It's just, it's just a good tip, uh, tip because sometimes things aren't very clear with what you need to present. Okay, so we're done with him. Yeah. So I suppose now is the time to go and talk to Maya again and let her down. Oh, my heart. <laughs> Hiya! Oh, you're back. Oh, God, she's happy again. Did you find a lawyer? You know, every time I, I, I think of those mediums, the psychic mediums, all I can think about are those, uh, the, the, the channelers from the Lavender uh, Pokemon Tower. Yeah, yeah. Like, every time. I don't know why. They get a bad rap yeah. because of that. Oh, now. she's wearing purple. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, what do I tell her? Well, see, just be honest, I, I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. What really happened? Ellipses. <laughs> Say anime, man. What do you expect? <laughs> we all did it when we were like 14 and role playing in forums. We all did it. You don't mean he refused to help? Erp. I see. I've been abandoned then. What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young. Tragic anime backstory right now. <laughs> and I don't know where my mother is. Don't know? So she could still be alive. The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say that the SP runs in their blood. But 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man and he... He... He ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer, and she left the mountain. Ellipses. <laughs> so, you live by yourself. Yes, gotten used to it. Oh, also. I had to become independent, or I would lose my ESP. I feel bad for her, all by herself up on that mountain. So, who was this man who, um, ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow! So what happened next? The case was solved, we thought. You thought? The man my mother helped, the police capture, was innocent. <gasps> Ellipses exclamation point. The police consultation with the medium had been carried out in secret, of course. But... The man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the pa he told all the papers that my mother was a fraud, and the media jumped on it big time. What's up, Night Dragon? How are you doing? Night Dragon. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. <laughs> White. White. It's me. Oh. Excuse me, White? I said White first. I wanted to make sure you said White as well. Yeah. That was his name. My sister told me. White. Hmm. Just a little longer now before the state appointed lawyers come, I guess. Dot, dot, dot. 
4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? You're really gonna be that person? <laughs> <laughs> You're really gonna be that person and make her sad? Look at this guy. You wanted me to play this game. There's nothing left for here for, here for me to do. She'll be better off with a state-appointed lawyer. I think I'd better go home now. Goodbye. I say something, but I'm on Carl's stream. <laughs> it was a few days later when I found out how the story ended. The result of the trial was in the newspaper. Guilty. I'll probably never meet her again. Reload. Did I make the right choice? Yeah, no. I did. Will I ever know? Yeah, I will. Mia, if you can hear me, please tell me. Phoenix, oh. you're an idiot. <laughs> Ellipses. <laughs> That's too good. Not. I can't let that happen. I'm not leaving here until she takes me as her lawyer. I've made up my mind. I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. Oh, God. Uh? <laughs> Why? Because the game won't let me choose otherwise. <laughs> why? Well... I don't know why. To be honest, I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. Is this girl sitting in front of me like... In front of me, the killer? All the evidence seems to say yes. But there's something about this whole thing that smells fishy. That witness stra witness's strange behavior, was that all an act? And the way the lawyer refused to help out Maya. But more than all that, she has no one, no one left to help her. Nothing is more sad or more lonely than that. I know, I've been there a long, long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because, Baby right, man. because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. Was that a really bad sentence or was it just me? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. This is me. You, you, yeah, it was just you. There's only one thing I know for certain. I won't abandon you. You can count on me. I'm not saying it. <laughs> um, unless you don't say ellipses. <laughs> ellipses. <laughs> That's so kind of you. I said it already. Go. <laughs> Well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. Right. Thank you. No, it's right with a W. Ooh. Phew, she smiled at last. She looks like an entirely different person. One last question. You are innocent, right? Yes. And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So what next? There's something that's been bugging me. Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? It was when I tried to look into that drawer that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. Wow, she's super happy. She's adorbs. Oh, I, I love her. I suppose I could present the phone back to her, can't I? Good. Hey, I got your cell phone back. Oh, say. Can I listen to my sister's voice? Ellipses. Maya's eyes closed. She listened to every word with such intensity. Before long, tears began to roll down her cheeks. Ellipses. Thank you. Oh, now I've got the sad music playing again. Uh. Yeah, this is showing how her, her sister <laughs> died. What? Hello? This was lying next to the chief's body. I saw that too. They say they thought these were the pieces of a broken light stand. 
Yeah, that seems about right. Though I'd never heard of a glass light stand before this. Did I actually present that to her? I wanted to ask you about the murder weapon. Poor sis. Hmm. Better not ask about her about this now. I think we already presented the note, right? I don't know if you did, actually. Remember that receipt? You mean the one with my name on it? Any idea why she... Absolutely none. Um... um oh. Do you, do you trust me? Uh, where's the doubt option? Isn't, isn't that... Isn't this what we're playing? She's a uh, good person. Isn't this what we're playing, uh, L.A. Noir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I trust you. Why? I don't know. Because I got nothing better to do. Don't you think I did it too? Uh, no, no, I don't, actually. It's just a hunch, but... That detect- oh. No, that's me. That detective thinks I did it. Yeah, well, he's smelly. Ellipses. Talked about all the stuff. Guess we'll go back to the hotel. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are. Uh, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment at your service, sir. Oh, right. I'm just come up to uh to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? I believe I guess Miss May is currently using the facilities. If you've no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please stay as long as you like. Enjoy. With the ellipses. Yeah. Wait, no, hey. Ellipses. Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait. Now's my chance to snoop around a bit. Ah, I almost forgot. Gah! You came back quick. Might I ask you to inform Ms. May that there is a message for her? Please tell her that Mr. White's a blue corp phoned. Oh, right. Sure. Mr. White, a blue corp? Why have I heard that name? It was like five minutes ago. <laughs> White. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was his name. My sister told me. White was the name of the guy who ruined Mia and Maya's mother. Could it be coincidence? No. I mean, wouldn't examining that technically get us in trouble because she's going to pop out of the bathroom? She's in the facilities. But You can hurry. Fine. There's a screwdriver sticking out of that half-open drawer. Now's my chance to see what's inside. <gasps> Ellipses and followed by exclamation point. What do we have here? A wiretap? Mmm. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like that? There is definitely something suspicious about that. This Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind all of this. I know it! Alright. I'll be using this a bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial for this for sure. For Maya's sake, I'll get to this woman. Or I'll get to this woman's. Wait. I can't. Oh, it is actually. Okay. I'll get to this woman's bottom. Wait, I mean, you know what I mean? I thought I actually just read it wrong. <laughs> no. Oh, Bellboy. Still there. Please stop. No. Uh oh, time to scram! I look forward to tangoing with you tomorrow, Miss May. In court. Alright, this is probably a good stopping point. But unless you wanna, but, like, go until four. But, uh, but we've got all the evidence. We, we, we know she's the innocent. The gonna be long. <laughs> it's up to you. September seven, ten a.m. District Court, courtroom number I'm one. I'm saying we should stop by four letters for me. Well, tough. Everybody wants us to finish the trial. Okay, we'll finish and then we'll stop. 
Now, now she's not excited to play Phoenix Wright. No, we're fine. I just have stuff I need to get done. The court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. Thank you, Speed Slasher, for the 100 bits. You are the best. Guys, nope. you'll need to donate way more of that to make it stop. No, I will have to go into Nightbot and adjust the saying so that it says Speed Slasher is in fact the best. Please uh, hold for a moment as I do this. Guys, remember guys, I voice act. I know how to do my voices. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can do this. I'll be your enemy. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles Edgeworth. I'd better not show any signs of weakness today, or he'll be on me in an instant. Mr. Edgeworth, please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Ms. Maya Fay, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed this murder. And we have a witness who saw her oh, do it. no. No. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. It's everyone's bay, Edgeworth. I see. He's miles of edge. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin then. You may call your first witness. Why is. Wouldn't that be the judge saying that? No, no, worries, it's intentional. The prosecution calls the chief officer at the scene. Detective Gumshoe. Oh, God. Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Sir! My name is Dick Gumshoe, sir! I'm the detective in charge of homicides, or homicides, uh, down at the, the, I forgot how to say that word. Precinct. Thank you. Precinct, sir. Detective Gumshoe. Please describe for us the details of this murder. Lots of reading. Very well, sir. Let me use the floor map of the office to explain. Ooh. The body was found by this window here. And the cause of death. Loss of blood due to being struck by a blunt object, sir. The murder weapon was the statue of the thinker found next to the body, sir. It was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon even in a girl's hands, sure, sir, not sure. The court accepts the statue as evidence. Again. They're still calling it a statue. <laughs> I love his comments. Now, detective. Y yes, sir. You immediately arrested Ms. Maya Fay, who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir. I have had hard evidence she did it, sir. Hmm. Detective Gumshoe? Please testify to the court about this. Hard evidence. Get it? Because the, the thing was a blunt forced object, so therefore it was hard. That's not what they were talking about. <laughs> as soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. Uh, objection. Um, she didn't have the phone. It was, it was Maya's phone. There were two people there already. The defendant, Ms. Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Ms. Maya Fay. Why? We had a witness account describing her. 
The witness said Ms. Maya Faye, at the very moment of the murder, or sorry, saw, not say. Hi, Eugene. Hi, Eugene. Eugene, you ready for my April May impression that everyone seems to hate? Hmm. The very moment you say. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross examination. Yes, Your Honor! Cross examine what? Couldn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. Whoosh. Smack! Hey, oh, I just threw something at me. What's this? When my sister couldn't find any contradictions in a witness testimony, she would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. The witness always slips up and says something wrong. It worked lots of times. Huh. I should have expected Maya would know some of her sister's tricks. All right, let's give this a try. Saying that would not be allowed. Something the matter? No, Your Honor. I'd like to begin my cross-examination. Cross-examination. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. It seems... Okay. There are two people there already. So you can you can press or you can you know go through it. Just you know you're you're Phoenix. Do what you feel feels right. Detective Gumshoe, how long would you say it took between you receiving that call and your arrival at the scene of the crime? Hmm. Right. I say it was about three minutes. That's pretty impressive, actually. Unless the building was like right across the street. But that's pretty fast. Even Phoenix is like. Dang, that's fast. Our motto this month is quick response. That's how I got there before the killer got away. Indeed. So, tell us who the two people you found on the scene were. Yes, sir. Uh, I can press as much as I want without any. Yeah, no penalties for pressing. Okay. But sometimes uh, there will be options prompted, so you'd be like, "Do you think this option is fishy?" And then, like, if like depending on if it's correct or not, or something like that, like it'll right. it'll add new statements. But yeah, it, there's no penalty in pressing. Okay. I don't think he needed to slam his hands down, but uh, are you absolutely sure it was us? Listen, pal, your dumb ass will only, only get you so far. With your funky hippie clothes and your spiky hair. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that. You two stand out like suspicious people at a crime scene. Yeah, if you get the right um, present option, like if you put the right uh, um, piece of evidence, the right statement, the music will stop. Oh. Well, I, does... I, I, I'm so used to that that I, I didn't even think about saying it. <laughs> he does have a point about her. She is pretty unmistakable. I should pick my points to press with a little more care. Yeah, pressing gives you like some really funny dialogue too. Uh, I guess I could press and <laughs> put Phoenix on the possibly guilty. <laughs> Why is that? What's your reason? Well, green text <laughs> that I already read. Hmm. Checking uh, gives you more information if you go back to the phone. It gives you more information on that. So there's the written up conversation. Right, so there's something on um, for me. Yeah, one. Okay, so let's let's do something different here. Let's read all of the text before we keep pressing and that, I Yeah, that was the you end of the text. Press, you can just press like everything. There's no it's no uh, 
Right. It's There's, no penalty. There were two people already there. The defendant is my fan lawyer. Mr. Phoenix Wright. Why we had a witness account describing her. The witness saw Miss Maya Faye at the very moment of the murder. Hold on just one second. Yeah? If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence. She did it, correct? Huh? Did, did I say that? Me? I heard you say it. You did say it. You said it. <laughs> exactly. What about this suspicious woman in Pink's claim was hard evidence? What? Ms. May is suspicious and she sure isn't Pink, pal. Yes, she is. Well, I guess she is Pink. <laughs> That's enough. Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any more solid proof other than her claims, Detective? Um. Hmm. I guess pressing can have its advantages. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. <clears throat> yes. Gah! Sorry. I got the order mixed up in my testimony, Your Honor, sir. There was something I should have told you about first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. Round two. Fight. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. Okay. Found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. Lab test results showed that the blood was the victim's. Also, there was a blood uh, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. How do you like that? That's my hard evidence. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Before we begin cross-examination, I have a question for you, Detective. Your Honor. Why didn't you testify about this vital piece of evidence the first time? Uh, eh, I know, I'm a real embarrassment. I forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. Try to be more oh, careful. Best. Very well. The defense may begin the cross-examination. Okay. I don't think there's much else to say about that. Let's see what he has to say. Just because you found it next to the body doesn't mean the victim wrote it. Ho oh, ho! Then who did write it, smarty pants? Well, who? Um. I did! <laughs> Now, when they say... No, never mind. Uh, Who wrote it? I guess I would say the killer? That's a safe bet. <laughs> Everybody wants me to say I did. Well, save state before you do it. Yeah, okay. you're in court right now. <laughs> in court right now? <laughs> and you will be penalized for, for pulling around. <laughs> okay, so... Um, I did. <laughs> It, it could have been me! <laughs> what?! So it was you! No, 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 I'm just saying it could have been. <laughs> Can you prove it wasn't? Uh-oh! Hold on. So, you admit to this? Uh-oh, we're in trouble now. <laughs> you admit that you wrote that note? Uh... Listen to me, Mr. Wright. This is a court of law, and I expect you to refrain from making thoughtless statements. But in, in fairness, he has a point. How can you prove it wasn't? Amateur. 
Ellipses. <laughs> well, detective, tell us what was written on that memo you found. Alright, so it didn't penalize you. Sometimes pressing and doing that will penalize you. I don't think it needs to say hold it all crazy like that. Kind of tests worthies again. Huh? What? What kind? Well, uh, hmm. I hear they, they take the uh, bits in the blood or the uh, hemo, hemo, hermo, goblins, hermo, goblin, goblin. I refuse to testify on this matter, sir. I'm no expert on, on tests. Yes, that was quite clear. You may continue with your testimony. Thanks, pal. I mean, your honor, sir. Detective Gumshoe. Yeah. I think you can expect a pleasant bonus in your next paycheck. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that was a mess. Right. Where was I? Detective Gumshoe! Do you get a lot of cases where the victim actually writes the killer's name? Sure. It happens all the time in books and movies. This isn't a movie, Detective. Oof. Can we get a, a group oof? Let's talk about reality, shall we? Um, I guess I haven't heard of many cases now. <laughs> Don't you find it a little odd that the victim would write down a name? Especially the name of her own sister? Uh, yeah, actually. You got a point, pal. Oh. Stop right there. The witness's opinion on the matter is irrelevant. The facts are clear. The victim wrote down the name of the accused. The victim told us the name of her killer. Order! Order! That didn't go so well. That's right. What he said. All right, so we've, we've, so we must present something at this point. Well, you also have other options for the, the press statement. It wasn't just accusing you. Saying you have more than one option here. Right. That's all the Navi I'm giving you. So I should present the attorney's badge. You really should not. <laughs> <laughs> the, the amount of sincereness in that voice. <laughs> you really should not. This is a bad idea. Okay, that I don't think would apply. Don't spoil if you know it. Yeah, yeah, present it when you're not in court. It's great. I don't think there's anything to present necessarily right now. You can, like, skim through this because you read a little bit. 
Oh, I know the medicine's on the run, I was thinking. Labeled irrelevant, wasn't it? Unless we just did the same thing again. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. Okay. What's up, Gilbert Spire? It? It's, it's good. Okay. I love these games. They're pretty good for, like, on break, too. Like, when I'm on break. So you can save really at any point. It's creating the suspect. I examine the scene of the crime with your own eyes. I don't know, written on a piece of paper. Ugh, God. Okay. Um... Yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that wasn't... Yeah, that wasn't... Wait, no. What was that? Maybe this one? Wait, no. That was... That was... That was the type of lab. Oh, I don't remember which one it was. What about that one? Oh, no. Never mind. You can also just present something too. I could, but I'm still seeing what other options we have. Mm -hmm. And we pressed that one. Yeah, and so I think that was it didn't matter which option you picked. I honestly don't remember very well. But I'm also not telling you how to like, you know, how to get through. There, this is the one with the options. And the killer wrote her own name. Oh. Hold on. If that's the case, where's your evidence? Ah. Uh, Erk. <laughs> I guess that was a, a, a bit of a tall order for you. Those without evidence shouldn't open their, their mouths, Mr. Wright, as I stutter. Yeah, pal. Well, detective, tell us what was written on that memo you found, even though you're going to read it again for like the eighth time. Okay, so we've... I don't think saying Miss May would do anything at this point. Because I don't think I have any evidence to back up. You could try it. But then I would get a strike. Then you save. <laughs> but where's the fun in that? I got to do this right the first time. I wish I could just read all of the the text at once. Mm -hmm. There's gotta be a contradiction in there. What's our evidence again that we have? Oops. There we go. Okay. The autopsy report I don't think would have anything to add to this since everything he said in there would just um, present as more information. Um, here's a little piece of advice too. At the top of the screen, uh, sometimes with certain prompts, characters will change their uh, animation, so like their face expressions and stuff. Hmm. That's all I will tell you. Let them figure it out. It's his first time.
Don't don't give subtle hints. That doesn't apply to anything right now. That doesn't apply to anything right now. That could apply, but I feel like that's playing playing your ace too quickly. So I don't think that's right either. doesn't have anything to apply so that could be what we're looking for here if there was anywhere within what his statement said applying to what time may be that she was there but So the word Maya was clearly written in blood. Okay. Lab test results show the blood was the victim's. Okay, fair enough. Also, there is blood found in the victim's finger. You got this, girl. So, where did the blood on the victim's finger come from then? I guess she would have just took, taken it from her. She died instantly. So, how would she have been able to write the note? Okay, so there's that. But where do I prove it then? Find the statement. Where would you present that? Let's see here. There. Before she died. If death was instantaneously. Got to be the only thing now. Welcome to this game, man. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, <laughs> there's one thing I want you to clarify for me here. You say that the victim, Mia Fey, wrote the note. That she was accusing the defendant, Mia Fey. That's really what you're saying. What? This isn't one of those lawyer tricks now, is it? Of course she wrote it. Who else could have? You have it backwards, detective. Backwards? The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from your department, detective. Immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. She died immediately! What? No butting your way out of this one, detective. <laughs> Order! Order! The defense has a point. Someone who died immediately wouldn't have the time to write anything down. Mr. Wright. I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autopsy report? Well, when? Uh, it was the day after the murder. What was it the day after? It had to have been. You can't get autopsy reports the day of what? the murder. Why? Is it the day after? It was the day after the murder. <laughs> it was the day after the murder. Well, the prosecution point being? That autopsy report is outdated. 
Your Honor. What? A second autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. Death was almost immediate uh, due to a, a blow from a blunt object. But there was a possibility the victim lived for several minutes. After the blow. <laughs> I received these results this morning. No way! Your Honor. It's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have time to write Maya. That is all. Why is your cursor doing a spinny? I don't know. Something's trying to load. Oh, I see. Dang you, Edgeworth. I should have known you'd have something up your sleeve. Why, Mr. Ray? You look shocked. Something you want to say? I'm a sham. <laughs> Hmm. Who are you throwing under the bus? Well, if I throw Edgewater under the bus, and then I'd have to question his evidence of his autopsy report then. But it, his could be more right because the detective gave me... I suppose either one could be both. If it were meant my actual personal opinion, I don't think I'd just call them a sham. I think I'd just question both the autopsies to see which one was actually correct. Although, yeah, this is where you would say <laughs> although, albeit that, you know. Yeah, go with your gut. See? Hmm. 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 Sham wow. I don't think Edgeworth would have anything to gain from being a sham, would he? But you know, for right now. It's true. I don't know. Oof. Oh, you see, Carl just has quick saving enabled. That's it. That's all it is. See? It's quick save. <laughs> Certain editions of the DS have it. Detective Gumshoe! Are you calling me a fool because I believed your report? Huh? Me? I'm not. Huh? Detective Gumshoe. I'm disappointed in you handling him the wrong- handing him the wrong report like that. Eh? I- I'm sorry, sir. You are at fault, detective. This isn't going to look good on your evaluation next month. Was any answer right? I don't- I honestly don't remember, I think so. Sometimes it is. Okay. What? 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 Uh. Your Honor, I submit this report to the court. Understood. The court accepts the evidence. Well, Your Honor, the evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. I suppose that the obvious conclusion, yes. Darn, this isn't good. Prosecution would like to call oh, them its no. next witness. No. This poor, no. innocent girl saw the murder no. with her own eyes. No. No. Let the witness, Miss April May, please go away. <laughs> exactly what part of her is innocent? Why is she? Oh, no. Put this your name, please. Hey, the me at your service. Wink. Oh, 
Order! An introduction should not require any reaction from the crowd. The witness will refrain from wonton winking. Oh, yes, Your Honor. This is not good. She's already captured the heart of every man in this court. <laughs> Tell us, where were you on the night of September 5th when the murder occurred? Um, gee, I was like in my hotel room. <laughs> I checked in right after lunch. And this hotel is directly across from the Fay and Co. law offices. Mm, that's right, big boy. Please testify to the court about what you saw. Witness testimony, round three, fight! Because I can do girls better than guys, and I'm not going to try doing guy I, voices. I, I would hope so. <laughs> I was like nine, or sorry, it was like, it was like nine at night. I looked out the window, you know? And then, oh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Then that woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. But that girl, she got up to her and, and she hit her. Then the woman with the long hair, she kind of slumped. The end. That's all I saw. Every little bitsy witsy. Wink. Hmm. Well, Your Honor. I see. It is a remarkably solid testimony. Oh, that's that is such bullcrap, and he knows it. I don't see a need to trouble the witness any. Wait, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Wright. What about my cross-examination? I thought the witness's testimony just now was quite firm, didn't you? Mr. Wright, I understand you were Miss M Mia, Maya. Miss Maya Faye, I don't know. Not Maya, Maya, it's I don't Mia. know. Mia, Mia. Mia. <laughs> That's the point, though. It's confusing. Miss Mia's face understudy, were you not? You must know her techniques well. Her cowardly way of finding tiny faults on perfectly good testimonies. Hey! How dare you! Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine the witness? No, no thanks. <sighs> Why would you say no? Unless there's nothing to cross-examine. Because meta-value. This game knows that your stream doesn't want it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. It's only because I have a feeling Edgeworth doesn't want me to. She has to have some weakness. Very well, you may begin your cross-examination. Alright. So everything's wrong that she said. Um, that's that's my cross-examination. <laughs> uh, it was like 9 o'clock at night and I looked out the window. You know, okay, so let's... Let's just press her on everything first. I think that's a pretty solid idea. Why did you do that? Huh? Why? Like, why what? Why did you look out the window? Were you expecting to see something? Oh, well, um, gee. What? That's it? She can't get out of this question that easily. I sort of, you know, had a feeling. Well, I have a feeling she's trying to avoid the question. Maybe I should press a little harder on this one. Go for it! Let's see how far I can run with this. Surely you must have had a reason to look out your window at that time of night. I... Oh. So right. I will not have you badgering my witness. But badgering? You insist on uh, needling her with these trivial questions? You really don't think it should be allowed. Yeah, yeah, stop him! 
Poor <laughs> girl! <laughs> Order! Mr. Wright, you have been warned. Poor girl, what about poor me? You looked up the window. What did you see next? Gosh darn it. Uh... The woman with long hair. That was Mi that was Mia Fey. Um, Sunday sort of. Well, some people might say pretty. If that's your thing. Wow, your thing. Oh, and the person attacking her. <laughs> Just literally gonna press everything. That's what I do. How do you know she was the defendant? Huh? Well, you know. She had a girlish physique. Women knows these things. Look, I just know, okay? There was only one person at the scene of the crime with a short girlish figure. Testimony is bulletproof, your honor. He's right. What do you think? As Carl, and not as Phoenix. Is he right? I wish I could look at, like, the options beyond if I go with one of them. Like, if I question the testimony, what am I gonna well, question? Well, you can look at your evidence to help you. I still don't think it's right to play the wiretap. You forgot yet. one one thing. Go with that. No. I mean, yeah, sure, but. <laughs> you didn't actually look at the new autopsy. No, I didn't. That's what I was saying, like. But that doesn't, unfortunately, tell me much of anything at the moment. No, I know. I just wanted to look at the new one. Can I read this yeah, again? you also have the, the profiles too. I feel like it's a problem that I didn't find. Well, I guess the guy took the paper, or whoever took the papers, didn't they? I'm also going to tell you now, you do not enter court without every single piece of evidence that you need. You can't enter it early. Okay. So you have everything you need to solve this portion of the court. Right. Hmm. Is there a way to back up a uh, text? Nope. That's why I say it's coming is good in this game. <laughs> But you can go back to it, like how you pressed before. That testimony stinks! <laughs> what? I'm willing to bet that. I have nothing to prove for that. Unless I pull the wiretap. Oof.
I suppose both of these would be the same thing, wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. Just gonna say she's lying. Oh. Mr. Wright, what's the meaning of this? Hi, Mr. Wright, what's the meaning of this? And Katie is Sorry. dead. Sorry. Excuse me, I'm outside because I want to read it. Go for it. I don't even know what the heck you just said. <laughs> go ahead and continue. Give me a sec. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> no one wears clothes like this on a daily basis except her. And I'm no expert on fashion, but her hairdo looks far from normal to me. However, the witness's testimony mentions neither of these things. The testimony is bogus. Still, we don't know if she was dressed that way the night of the murder. Wasn't she, though? Well, they don't know. Oh, she was because she was uh, thrown in jail. Immediately. Roar. Sorry, I can go. Aw, what are you trying to say, you mean lawyer? I, I, I saw what I saw. And now my graphics card is dying again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing this later, I think. I, I just think the, trif uh, the trifling little details are necessary, darling. Miss May? The court would like to remind you to please omit nothing in your testimony. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'll be a good girl, I promise. Your testimony again, if it would. Dang, I almost had her. Round four, fight! So, are you gonna read it? Sorry. I did see everything. I did. The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran off to the right. Then, the little girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. And she hit her with that weapon. I saw it. I did. That, the clock, um... That kind of statue clock? The finger, I think? Well, does that accurate, uh, does the accuracy of my report not startle you? <laughs> it was too accurate. I see. I only wish you had been so detailed from the beginning. Please begin the cross examination. So, you saw me then, too. Of course. I'd remember that spiky hair anywhere. Spiky. The witness will refrain from personal attacks on the defense attorney. Aw, oh, was that about a girl? I'm sorry. Or so we. Very well, continue. Uh, stop, Jay Blover. Is that right as in your right or as you look from the hotel? Um, which hand do I hold my knife in again? <clears throat> right, 
He was my right hand, right? Satisfied, Mr. Right? Oh, that was so bogus, and he even knows it too. How convenient for you to remember her hippie clothes. That's what you, I mean, that's what she was wearing. Oh, and her hair was all done up in like a bun. <sighs> what happened then? Where did this weapon come from? She picked it up from the desk. I see. What sort of weapon was it? A clock? Didn't this come up in another testimony recently? Well, don't look so sour, Mr. Lawyer. You can't win all of them. No, but I have a feeling I'm on to something now. Okay, so... What do we got here again? Don't think that would apply to anything since that basically just proves that it was a clock. Don't think that has anything to apply. Does it prove that it was a clock? Yeah, because she says it's the clock that they had to take the clock out. But I mean, I still think it would be technically considered a clock, wouldn't it? Unless I'm just overthinking it. Well, people said it looks like a statue. There's no, there's no physical clock on it. That's true. Uh, maybe I'm gonna. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna present that. Up to you. Nothing of, nothing else in here. I don't think would be relevant. Other than that, because she says specifically in there, I took the clock out. Yes, yeah, bad. Present the badge. <laughs> Be the only thing that I could think of. But I don't. What would that. Hmm. Let me read what she's got to say one more time. Looks a lot like the left, doesn't it? And if we're basing this sense. off off her point of view. The witness's statement is clearly faulty, Your Honor. Ellipses. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I cannot see nothing faulty. Unfortunately, I will- What? But it looked what? Sometimes in this game, you are right about points, but you have to wait for the appropriate times to present them. Oh, that's such bullcrap. Yeah, it's a little frustrating. It gets, it gets a little bit more lenient later in the games, but like this is because it's the first one. 
But keep that in mind for later. Sup, Nestor? How are you doing today? Hey, Nestor. And the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. When I play these games, and I'm again, I'm not gonna tell you how to solve it. Uh, I try to t uh, to focus on what points they're specifically talking about in their testimonies. So, the two points that you saw in this one were the direction that Mia went, and then mm -hmm. the the clock. You kind of just use it as your direction. Can I see this one again? It's the only thing I can think of at this point. You could also present the statue, too. The evidence clearly reveals the contradiction in that statement, oh. Your Honor. How exactly are the uh, are that evidence and that statement just now related? They aren't, are they? Oh, that sucks. All right, fair enough. Everybody's just going to come in and be like, present badge. Yeah, that's basically a base attorney meme. Hmm. You also have the glass. I don't know what that pl applies to is the only thing. I'm not, again, I'm not saying what to do, um, but it came from something that was falling over, which kind of connects to what you were saying. The victim, okay. And the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. I really wish I could read previous things dead. Like, I really need a court log. That would make this game a lot easier. I think it's easier in later games. What are we missing here? Victim, the woman dodged the first attack and ran off to the right. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. And she hit her with that weapon. I saw it, I did. It's a conversation between her. The phone basically proves that it's not a clock anymore. Yeah, that's why I thought that it would work. Yeah. Just keep that in the back of your well, mind. Well, more so to the point, like, how the heck would she know it was a clock to begin with if she was yeah. just a witness? So, use that so you're thinking. Because, I mean, I could present the evidence in itself, but I don't know if that's going to correctly say that there there are multiple things like if you sometimes in this game if you present like something you'll have to prove it with another piece of evidence there are multiple chain presenting things sometimes yeah, <laughs> the thinker is <laughs> unless the glass proves that they flew to the left well, they did say the glass came from something that fell over, and that is marked on your map as well. Right. Which is what you were getting at earlier. 
There's two different th ways you can go. I guess I'll try the glass, because that... I would save first, though, because you're on three strikes. <laughs> or three chances left. Hey. Hey. We'll be fine. I believe you tried that already, though. No, I know I tried the map. But I just wanted to analyze everything first. No, I know. I'm just making sure you weren't going to prevent it. Yeah, a lot of the routing in uh, Phoenix might not make sense right away, but then as you kind of look back on it, it kind of collects itself in the end. My best advice is don't think one-dimensionally, kind of think in different directions. It's like an abstract um, lineage kind of thing. Enter the land of 4D, 2K. Hmm. So am I blatantly just missing something here? Like, something that's right in front of me that I'm just, like, not picking up on at all? Or am I just confused by too many options I think being presented? I honestly think you're overthinking something. I think you're you're skipping a step in your thinking. You're on the right paths, but you're you need to you need to get there. I can't say anything else without directly telling you. I know you can't. And it seems like chat's caught on. <laughs> no pressure. That statement or... That statement. Just think of it like this. There's a whole statement devoted to a piece of evidence that you have. You can also do what Eugene suggested, that's all that also helps. The murder weapon looks like a statue boost. I guess that would be it. Only to question her. It's a statue made by your friend. And there's only two. It's the only thing I can think of. Let's see what happens here. Your music stopped. Yeah, it did. I guess I broke the game. Miss May! What you said just now was quite revealing. See? Okay, this is where it becomes bullcrap because that's well, like exactly I said, what I wanted to do with the phone. But that's that's my point though. You were skipping a step. You have you have in your head how to prove it, but you have to get there. You have to, to show her the statue then prove that she should not know. I showed my work. All right, I'm mad at this game. I I'm just like saying, game. you I hate it. Step. I hate it. We're never playing it again. You don't hate it. You like it. I hate it. We're never playing it again. Let's we'll just skip this dialogue because, yeah. <laughs> Something oh, you, about flirting. You don't want to read that? You no, just said save chat. that this statue of the thinker was a clock. But there's no way of knowing that just by looking at it. Another person in much the same position as you recently called this a clock too. And he was found guilty of murder. Order. Order. Miss May, can you explain how you know this was the clock? Oh. Er
The witness saw the murder with their own eyes of Gunnar of Zedworth. That's all that's the important that's all that's important here. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with trivial concerns. Yes, yes, of course. You will withdraw your question, Mr. Wright. But questions are all I have, Your Honor. And as you may recall, I've caught murderers with these questions before. Well, only once. Ellipses. Ellipses. Objection sustained. You may continue to question the witness. That was a close one, guys. If you stopped me there, the trial would be over. Huh? What? So, what happens now? What happens now is your, you answer my question. How did you know it was a clock? What? That's... Because I heard it? Oh. Yes, I heard it. Say the time. So, you've been to the law offices of Fay & Co. No! Hey, I didn't say that. Why would I go there? I heard from my hotel room. <laughs> the law offices of Fay & Co. where the murder took place are very close to, to the hotel. She could have easily heard the clock. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, are you satisfied? Can I just say he does a really serious no? Uh-huh. No, Your Honor. I can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because... It couldn't have rung. Your Honor, members of the court, it is inconceivable that the clock is question er, clock in question rang. Okay, so it would be it's empty, not it's broken, because she emptied it, right? But at the same Correct. time... Okay. That clock is missing its clockwork! How could you possibly? Just have a look as soon as you can. Ellipses. Oh! See anything interesting, Your Honor? It is as the defense says. This clock is missing its clockwork. It's quite empty. Uh-oh. Mr. Wright, would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? It is as you can see. The clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. Therefore, this witness is a big fat liar! Fat? Ouch. Well, Miss May? Question mark. Quite a show you put on for us, Mr. Wright. He knew the clock was empty. Somehow, he knew. I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty. As you say, it can't ring. However, we must ask, when was the clockwork removed? I, I it was know. after the witness heard the clock. Then I there know was what no to do! <laughs> Exclamation point! Hmm, that's true. That is a possibility. The clock might have been emptied after she heard it. That is exactly what happened, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Wright, can you prove when the clockwork was removed? Yes, I can, actually. Oh, <laughs> impossible, of course. I have proof. What? Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. The evidence that proves one o'clock or... Oh, that's you. Uh, uh, pre present. Take that! Take a look at this. Hmm. That's a very cute cell phone that came out like, I don't know, 18 years ago. You have a girly phone. Well, wait, wait. This isn't my phone. Listen. This is the defendant's cell phone, and it contains a recording. A recording of a conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. Order. Order. The defendant's cell phone? 
this, this wasn't brought to my attention. Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it. Rumble. The great detective better remember he's the first evaluation soon. My heart goes out to you, Edgeworth. Not. Let's hear the conversation. Beep. I don't, do we, do we, we've already read this, right? Yeah, you just keep going. I think this recording makes it clear that the clockwork was already gone. And this was recorded in the morning before the witness even arrived at her hotel. Well, Miss May, would you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know the weapon was a clock? Well, <laughs> well, is is it obvious? I saw that clock before. Um, what star was it again? <laughs> I guess so many. Oops, I forgot. So the witness had seen it before. That would make sense. Does the defense have any objection, Mr. Wright? Yeah, I do actually. The witness claims she had seen it before. But this directly contradicts a piece of evidence already submitted to the court. Well then, let's see it. Please produce the evidence that will pr prove the witness had never seen the clock before. Don't overthink it. Uh... Wouldn't it just be the thinker again? Would it be? I can't say yes or no, I'm not telling. I, I, I've got to see if you actually... Go with what you think. It's simple! This clock was never in any store, ever! What? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in this world. And the only one that isn't here is in police custody. Impossible. Everything is sold in stores. Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. Oh! Ooh! <laughs> <this game>. mm. <laughs> Oh, excuse is not on sale today. Oh, man! Yeah! Ooh! That comeback, oh. that was too good. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm not gonna make noises. Oh, God. <laughs> Calm down there, lady. Oh, God! What is that face? It's terrifying! Please! Come on, head. That stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? Cute voice is gone. She did it, and she should die for it. Die! Whoa! Let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is a court of law, and the witness will remain calm. Oh, God. Okay. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Silly me. Grunt. Did I, um, like, lose it? I guess I did. <laughs> Scary. Miss May, let me ask. Tell me, how did you know the weapon was a clock? <laughs> Lepsies. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Does the defense have an opinion on this behavior? Okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because... I'm gonna say she held it. This is familiar territory. I'll just use the same approach as with Larry. Miss May held that very clock in her hands. Mr. Wright, when was this? When she used it to strike the victim, when else? Order! Order! 
Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? April, May, you killed Mia Fey, I say. <laughs> and when you... <laughs> and when you struck the force of the impact that made the thinker ring, that's when you heard it. Oh, hmm. oh. Uh-oh, that was... That was uh, that, I wouldn't have said that. <laughs> Truly on a work of art, Mr. Phoenix Wright. But what's that supposed to mean? It was you who just proved that the thinker was empty. Oh, Eric, of course it wouldn't ring. Once more, the witness has a rock-solid alibi. Ms. May? Perhaps you could explain to the poor, misguided Mr. Wright. You were in the hotel at the time of the murder. She, she can't prove it. She did it. It would be my pleasure. No way! I can't believe yes, this! Mr. Lawyer. Teehee, didn't the murder take place at 9 at night? Gee, that's the exact time I ordered some room service from the hotel bo bellboy. Incidentally, the bellboy uh, corroborates the witness's story. Ergo, she was not at the crime scene. Rock solid. Mr. Wright, you've just made a serious accusation to a perfectly innocent woman. Sorry, Your Honor. That didn't go so well. But if that's the case, then how did she know the thinker was a clock? He didn't get penalized. Ellipses. Wait! Your Honor, I figured it out. There is one other way Miss April May could have known it was a clock. One way alone, and I have proof. Well, proof, you say? Then the court will examine your proof, Mr. Wright. How did the witness know the thinker was a clock? She held it. <laughs> this is probably where the tap would come in, wouldn't it? That's the only thing I can think of. Have a look at this! Yeah. <laughs> Angry noises. <laughs> I found this in Miss May's room. Believe in my badge. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what this is. Miss April May? You were tapping the victim, Miss Mia Fey's phone, were you not? Uh oh. Your Honor, this is irrelevant. I'm not entirely sure that it is. Objection overruled. It troubles me that our witness was in possession of a wiretap. This is outrageous. Is that, does the defense truly claim that the witness was tapping in her phone? Absolutely. Even if that was the case, which it's not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? Can you prove that? I think not. Oh yeah? I think I can! It's simple! What? Here's my proof. The proof that the victim said on the phone that the weapon was a clock is... Wait, what? The proof? Wouldn't I just show the phone again? Good. I present the defendant's cell phone. Listen once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. More text. Miss April May, you used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? I, I... Quit objecting me. Your Honor, this is ridiculous. Your Honor, look at that witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? 
The defense demands an answer. <laughs> Witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? <laughs> Miss May! Shut up, all of you. What gives you the right to talk to me like that? You, you lawyer. God, that face. That needs to be an emote somewhere, doesn't it? <laughs> Oh no, did you see that? That was a six ellipses, ellipses. It's no fair. How are you kicking me up on me like that? Oh, so I'm the bad girl, is that it? Is that it? Wow, <laughs> crying. That did it. The court's seen the real Miss April May now. Now to deal the final blow. I guess either of one of these would be correct, wouldn't it? Miss May, confess. You did it, didn't you? Are you out of your mind? Oh, wait, I forgot. You're a lawyer. You must be. I was high with a murder. I was in my hotel room getting room service. How could you. How could I have killed her? If you don't believe me, just ask the bellboy. Well, does the defense have anything to say? Oh, um, well, come on. Think of something. <laughs> He said something. I don't remember what he said. You can call him as a witness. The defense would like to call the bell hotel bellboy as a witness. There's something suspicious there, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I think you're sucking quite low enough already. I object to calling the bellboy. Why? What's your reason? Because I hold that the wiretapping had nothing to do with the killing. Oh. However, if you agree to one condition, I'll consent to the calling of this witness. Condition? If Ms. April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy, then you will recognize that April May was not the killer, thus she is innocent. Therefore, you must accept the verdict of guilty for Ms. Maya Fay. That is my condition. That's a crappy condition. Yeah, exactly. What? I'd better find something suspicious in that bellboy's testimony. Otherwise, Maya will be declared guilty on the spot. What should I do? I guess I gotta find it. Do we get it. more information or just keep going in circles? I've got nothing to lose! <laughs> Except for everything! Understood, I accept your condition. Oof. 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 Go right into my trap card. <laughs> uh oh. Time to play uh, the, 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 the mystical space typhoon! Very well. The court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. Okay. This is where we should stop. But, but, but. I actually need to go. But we're at the good part. Oh, I know, come but on. I actually need to get stuff done. Like, come I seriously on. do. I seriously do. Oh, we're at the good part. Everybody. I gave you an extra hour. We're at the good part. Oh, oh I gave we're you at the good hour. part. Oh, how could you do this? I'm sorry. I gave you an extra hour, but that's my time limit. I have to go. Could you do this to me? Oh, we're at the good part. I'm sorry, I have to go. Oh, oh no. We oh, can do well, this again next week. What will we do? We can do this again next week. But, oh, what are we gonna do? The suspense is killing me. Oh, well, we'll play it next week. Oh, what a no. You make all the noises you want, I'm not swaying. Oh, join me later for some one way. I gave you an extra hour. I seriously need to go, and this is only wasting the time that I need. Join me later for one way, later tonight, later tonight. We finish.